It didn't have to go like this. Elizabeth Broderick still sees herself as the victim, even though she stole into her ex-husband's home while he slept peacefully with his new young wife, only months after Dan married Linda, and shot them to death. When you ask if she has any remorse, Elizabeth's response... Oh, well, remorseful about what? About my entire family and life being destroyed? Yeah, I'm real remorseful about... I mean, I have nothing left in life. Mm -hmm. And the family was all I cared about. So I'm very sorry that my entire family was destroyed, but I don't think my family was destroyed on November 5th, 89. My family was destroyed before that. To you, what happened November 5th, 89? I, I stopped it all. It, it ended. I mean, it just was over. Dan Broderick is the one who said it would never be over until one of us was gone. Well, it's over now. Elizabeth still complains that she couldn't get fair treatment in the divorce courts here, where she says no one wanted to mess with her prominent attorney husband, that all she really wanted were her children, who in fact she left with her husband early on in their separation. Yes, I have regrets. Mm -hmm. yes, but it was, I didn't do this. I didn't start this. I didn't keep it going. I didn't do this. I don't take the blame for this. I was the victim and the reactor to their assaults and attacks. Is there a day goes by that you don't think about this? Is it part of your consciousness every day? Well, I'm in here, so it's a little hard to forget, but I have more freedom to talk to my kids and see my kids now than I did when Dan Broderick was alive, and why should that have been? I mean, there was never a reason he, he should have or could have kept me from the kids. Never. Broderick will have a lot of time to think about her life and what's happened. She's in prison for another 18 years unless she's released early.